John Tully. I've checked this seven times table on the map again and it still finishes exactly where it started. So Major Hurst is marching around, getting nowhere. I've tried it with different numbers. They all bring you back to where you started. All right? So how do we find HD and the Professor? Well, maybe there is a clue to where they are, right here. Start at the cross. That's what the factor said. There's some words here. Erected in memory of Sir Simon Harcourt, Lord of the Manor of Elmsdale, who died 11th of June, 1690. Lord of the Manor? I think I saw... Yeah, there's a manor house marked here. Do you think that's got anything to do with it? Well, it's worth checking out. If Hurst went that way two hours ago, where would he be right now? Well, he was heading east. He would have turned north here. Yeah, he should be somewhere oh. near the manor house. Q1 speaking. Q5 here, Major. Have you seen a building that might be a manor house? No, I haven't seen any manor house. Why should I? We think that H.D. and the Professor oh, might be... I can't hear you. There's a motor car going by. Joseph! What? Joseph! In the car! It's the Factor's car! What? Where are you? Oh, in a road, by a house. Ah, uh, it's called Elmsdale Manor House. <laughs> That's it! Which way was the car heading? South. No, uh, no, no, I mean north. Yes, that's it, north. I suggest you search the house, Major, right away. Over. <coughs> the road by the manor house is the B315. Hello, Section M. Q5 here. The Factor's car has been sighted heading north on the B315. Stop the car and detain all occupants for questioning. Over. Section M reporting. They've stopped the car. Two men inside. Joseph and Hammond. Good work, Section M. Take them back to HQ right away. Not the Factor? Not the Factor. So he's got away again? Yes, but not for long. Not this time. You'd better make a report to the Major. About the men in the car. Uh, yes. On second thoughts, no. No? I've got a feeling, Rick. This time we should handle it ourselves. Please, can I go back to my beautiful country? There's only one way you'll ever get back to your beautiful country. Tell us where we can find the Factor. I don't know where the factor is right now. I swear I don't. But... But what? You've got ten seconds to come clean, Joseph. One. Two. Three. All right, I tell you. The factor is planning to escape from this country. At dawn tomorrow morning, a fishing boat will anchor off Smuggler's Bay to the west of Sandport. The ship will send the boat inshore. The factor will give them a signal. What signal? A prearranged code. A number. We might have guessed. What's the number? I don't know exactly. Only that it's the fourth term of a sequence. A sequence of numbers? You mean like two, four, six, eight and so on? Yes, uh, but not that sequence. All I know is the first number is one and the second number is four. Taking the law into your own hands? Interrogating prisoners without my permission? You're fired, both of you. 
Get out of here and never let me see you again. What did he mean, the fourth term of a sequence? He means the fourth number in a set of numbers which are all connected in the same way. We only know that the first term is one and the second term is four. The difference between them is three. So maybe the sequence is formed by adding three each time. One plus three gives four. Four plus three gives the third term, seven. Seven plus three gives the fourth term, ten. The fourth term? Where's the one we want? Ten. We don't know it's ten. I mean, it could be some other number, according to the way the sequence is built up. Well, you could multiply one by four, and so we'll get four for the second term. Multiply by four again to get the third term, and so on. And we don't know which way it's done. No, but the factor knows, and that's what matters. HD. But Lisa can't be the factor. Why not? Why not? Well, because because she's the head of the department. Exactly. The only other person who knew what we were doing all the time because you reported every move to her. That's how she stayed one jump ahead of us. But HD was kidnapped by the factor's agents. Her own agents, you mean. That was a trick to fool us and to force Martin into writing down the formula for, for DD2X. <gasps> what absurd nonsense. Nonsense? Um, why were you wearing those clothes? To fool the men who were coming from the ship. So I could trap them. How did you know the men were coming from a ship here today? You didn't get a report this time. You didn't know that we'd caught Joseph? Joseph didn't know how the sequence of numbers was made up. Only the factor knew what the fourth term was. And how come you've got the professor's instructions for making DD2X? You cretins! I put you in charge of this case so that you fail! You'd no right to discover me! No right! Good morning, good morning. I'm just on my way to Downing Street. I've been summoned by the Prime Minister to explain how I captured the factor. Of course, I shall give credit where credit is due. Of, of course. course. I shall expect some recognition for my services, and now that the post of the head of the department is vacant, <laughs> as for you two, you could well find yourselves in charge of Section Q. <laughs> oh! There's just one thing, uh, in case the PM asks. Why was 16 the fourth number in the sequence? I'm sure you can work that out for yourself. First term one, and three makes the second term four. Add three again makes the third term seven. Add three again makes the fourth term ten. It ought to be ten. Why is it 16? At last, the factor is foiled. Sam satisfied, Rick rewarded. But how is Hurst to know why the sequence leads to 16? Help him wrap up the last round of Maths. Teacher's notes are available for many of our school's programs.
For further information about Night School TV and daytime programmes for schools, please write to BBC Education Information, White City, London, W12 7TS.